the wiring is uh, in here. It's our main electrical panel uh, for the truck. Very similar to what you have in your house. Hey, it has circuit breakers in it. Uh, all the loads are uh, identified here. So we know what this is for the light tower. You have some body porch lights, baseboard heating. Uh, there are probably some for air conditioning, with numerous things. Uh, this is a control box for the generator. This is a hydraulically controlled generator. The uh, this emergency stop, obviously, we can measure the power and the frequency of the generator for the normal operation. The generator is actually mounted at the uh, back of the truck. I don't know if you can see this one compartment that's open back here. It's where the hydraulic generator is located. What it is is a hydraulic generator that runs off of a PTO that's driven from the transmission. So the transmission drives the PTO, which makes hydraulic pressure and turns this unit back here, which is a generator, it's a hydraulic generator, which makes the electrical current, and then it's, it's um, channeled back through that control panel, and then it goes out to your various outlets, which this is one of them here. Basically, they have, uh, this is what they call a firepower outlet. It's, a, it's an outlet where they can plug in their specialized tools. The generator in this truck can be run as the truck is traveling. And that generator has to run at a speed to generate 60 cycle per second power, which is what you have in your house. With a hydraulically driven generator, you can have the engine run at various speeds, but have the uh, generator still run at 60 cycles per second. The light tower is uh, stored in this box on top. You can see the light tower, it's in a stored position and that'll, that'll tip up out of the box and then it raises up. It's an air controlled light tower that has, it's, it's an air piston inside there which raises it. And it uses electric to make it rotate. And he's operating now from a remote control that's on the other side. So he can basically walk to the front of the rig and he can see to make sure he's not going to put the light tower into any type of obstruction. You can see he's got the controller right over there. There's a lot of thought that goes into these rigs. Uh, there's a lot of special equipment on it. It has a new style teleprinter for the, uh, for the uh, what we call the MDT. It's a computer terminal where the, uh, where the officer can put in information and he can get information back to help him uh, get a little bit of understanding of what's going on with the job before they actually get to the job. What we got going on right here, that annoying sound that you hear, and this light over here, is uh, telling the chauffeur that the light tower is in the up position. Uh, this way he knows not to move the vehicle until the light tower is down, because obvious, for obvious reasons, we don't want to snap it off. And uh, it's been known to happen before, so that's why we have this warning device on here. Is, uh, this is what we call the MDT computer. This is uh, basically when the dispatcher sends a job over the air, uh, he can do it two ways. He can do it verbally over the uh, department radio, which is, which is located right over there. Um, and he would be talking into one of these uh, handsets. And there's also other information that comes over this computer over here as to the nature of the job that they're going to. And this is a fully functional, um, it's like a laptop computer and uh, the dispatcher sends, sends all kinds of information over this so the officer who rides in that position where you're sitting can know exactly what the story is and they can uh, take appropriate measures. My job is to see that this rig is good from top to bottom, front to back. Whatever I find wrong with it, I report to my supervisor and he tells me whether to go ahead and fix it. If it's not warranty, if it's warranty, then the company have to fix it. Otherwise, then we have to take care of the rig. This is the first time he had the truck up in the air. The other list that he made was all from uh, items that we've seen from, from while the rig was on the ground. So this is our first inspection underneath the rig, and uh, anything he sees, he's going to put on the list, and we're going to forward it to the uh, mechanic from the warranty company from Salisbury. We made a list of some of the items that we found, because we did find a couple of items here and there. Uh, what they do is, the warranty company sent their mechanic here to uh, do the repairs. And if, it, if it's a repair that's big enough where he can't do it here, they'll wind up taking the whole rig back to them and they'll, they'll take care of it in their facility. This is uh, 
one of the kind of items that we're looking for. Uh, for instance, over here you have this uh, hose, which is joined together with the metal fittings. It's kind of rubbing into this other wire loom over here, which eventually it's probably going to rub through and cause us some kind of problem. So this is the kind of stuff we look for to make sure we could uh, get, the, get the vendor to correct this kind of uh, situation, because eventually it's going to give us a problem. Uh, it's not a major thing. It's not a big repair to fix it, but basically we, we got to get that away from there so it doesn't rub through. The lives depend on these vehicles. And uh, it's our duty to see that they go out correct, fight fires and take care of um, people, civilians and other things like that. The customization, the building, it's, it's a challenge. It's a lot of fun. So it's enjoyable for me and the customers. They just, they ultimately get what they wanted and they get to see it roll off the door. And, and just, uh, yeah, you kind of feel like you're part of it because uh, you feel like you have a lot of input into how the stuff is there. You tell them things from the past that may not have worked out, so you give them a little input and they make the product better. Which, uh, you know, Progress has given us uh, good equipment, comfortable equipment, and reliable equipment uh, so the, the firefighters can do their job. I mean, uh, their job is hard enough. At least they could have uh, is a rig that'll suit every need that they have. It's just, just the fact that knowing that whether it be New York City or any fire department, we can give them the, the best vehicle that they need because they deserve it. Division 